So Maya 2026 just came out. Well, let's go take a look at their new feature. So this is called Boolean Volume Mesh. Take a look at this. Now, this is probably the biggest feature of Maya 2026 release. I'm not kidding. So let's open up Blender 2.3. That's right, you heard me right, 2.3. Look at this. Let's duplicate that again. Man, this is bringing back good memories. So the answer is Metaballs. And I was using this in Blender 20 plus years ago. It seems to be way more optimized than Maya. In Maya 2026, I was lagging quite a bit. I have much greater control of the Metaballs. I can control things like stiffness, wire size, which would be voxel size inside of Maya. And I can even change the Metaball after that object has been added to a different shape. It also has settings to where I can work super, super low poly in the viewport and then at render time, smooth everything out. So in the viewport, I can make the wire size super large and we can come in here, work really, really fast, do whatever I need to. And then when it renders with this render size, smooth it out during the render, looks awesome. I could do fast. I could do half res. So when I move things, you'll notice it lowers the resolution here or just always update. And then whatever resolution I have set for the wire size, that's what I see in the viewport. I have a ton of control within Metaballs. Now I understand that this was not a one-to-one -one direct tool comparison, but it's really insane that I can download Blender 2.3, which was 20 plus years ago, 22 years ago. This came out in 2003. And this tool is better, 100% better than Maya 2026's new feature, Boolean Volume Mesh. You know what? I really thought that Autodesk was going to be the butt of this joke, but really it's just Maya users like myself who, like dogs, return to their vomit time and time again.